It's more than just the gossip. It's the issues that matter most to you. A closer look at current events, just the tip, special guests, and more. Welcome to Let's Have a Fifi, Arizona's longest running drag live stream. Hosted by Felicia Fifi Minor and Freddie Prince Charming. Streaming live on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Promotional consideration for Let's Have a Fifi provided by Wigs of a Kind, The Burly Barber, Bone and Basil, as well as our patrons at Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash let's have a Fifi to become a Fifi patron. Virtual tips accepted at paypal.me slash let's have a Fifi. Welcome to Let's Have a Fifi. Wow. That was amazing. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Let's Have a Fifi. Good evening. Um, this is episode is. 19 of season 10 of Let's Have a Fifi. I'm Felicia Fifi Minor. And over there, we did not plan this. I promise you i promise you i promise you legitimately unplanned and legitimately unplanned <laughs> i don't i do this all the fucking time it's happens so, all the time um, <laughs> so when we signed well when i um, i about screamed because i was like no fucking way did we do this <laughs> And yes, 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 we did. So here we are. Uh, oh welcome. God! Of course. Absolutely. Of course. This is. This is yeah. This is how we roll. <laughs> this is your Wednesday night conversation. Uh, welcome to Let's Have a Fifi. We'd like to thank our uh, patrons: Allison, Brandon, Cassandra, Jake, Draketon. Casey Starr, Kara Corey, Kim, Joan, Jody, Leanne, Nicole, Patricia Mason, Sassy, Shannon, Shelly, and Sky. And Sky has been found. Um, oh, she has. Special thanks to our friends and supporters. Yes. 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 Good news. That's good, good news. Yes. Uh, special thanks to our friends and supporters, Patricia Mason, Patricia Mason. Wow, my like tongue is like failing me. Um, Sky and Drake Jensen for taking the deep plunge um, on okay. Patreon. You can support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com slash let's have a fifi. Uh, special thanks to our sponsors. Uh, Joan of Buy Bitch Jewelry and Wood Art. Guido Martin. And Dermy Bright of Ripple Phoenix. You can donate to us, sponsor us, whatever you want to call it, uh, by going to paypal.me slash let's have a fifi. Um, you can also text LHAF to 602-730-7379. Who knows what I might send you. And it's I'm all not responsible for anything that There's... you may or may not get. Your discretion. It's up to your discretion. That's all I can say. Um, and something new for us um, is that if you're on Facebook, you can press um, the little heart button that's next to the comment little square thing. I don't know. Um, but it's a way for us to earn money. Um, at this point, I think we're at like maybe $3. We earned $3. Hey. Let's try to like make it twenty. Can we like get to twenty? I would love to just like make twenty. That's good. I mean, we'll split it and put it on our taxes later. Right. The government said taxes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had anyway. a twitch there. My bad. Twitch. I had a twitch. Oh How was gosh. your weekend, Felicia? Are you okay? 
Um, my weekend, dare I say, I don't have many of these. It was relaxing. You were probably um, forgetting something that I, you had to do. Cause that that's no, if I'm no. like I have like uh, if I have nothing on the calendar, I'm like, mm, I feel like I'm probably forgetting something. The rest of the month is very booked up, but um did get my hair cut again. It's it's fun being a um uh is it a subscriber? Is it a what? What do you call it? A membership? Uh, it's a membership. So I'm, I'm um, yeah, I have one too. Do you get the whole thing like with yeah. the facial and everything, or just your haircut? Uh huh. No. All the things with the. I um, was like, well, if I'm, if I'm gonna do this, I might as well just go ahead and get all of it. You know. <laughs> That's what I'm like. It gives here. me an excuse to go like every <laughs> couple weeks to get everything trimmed up. I can go get a facial done. They trim my beard. I highly recommend it. And John kind of begged me, so. Oh, and then there's that. Uh, <laughs> uh, because my hair becomes such a um, mm. mess. We've seen. Let's say. Mm -hmm. We've seen. And so I uh, got that done, but, um, and then nothing really too much during the day, but um, that was Saturday. Saturday, we went to Amazing Jake's. Um, for um, Glam Baby's birthday, uh, but nothing. It was just us. Um, and then uh, Sunday, Sunday, we went to a consignment shop and we went to Goodwill. Mm. Um, that was that was fun. Um, and then on Monday, her actual birthday, uh, I got her this um place it she always likes to because we have like a, a like a house cut out kind of thing like a playhouse kind of right thing. it's not the whole playhouse <laughs> um but it's like half of like a house but it has a kitchen she's always in there you know i'm cooking i'm cooking so i bought her like a little uh cooking set um that came with like a whole bunch of stuff came with like vegetables and all this other stuff that i was like oh i just wanted the little pan I didn't even yeah. pay attention. Um, <laughs> that it was fun, um, and she got cake. And I, one thing was that um, I believe that she had a sugar rush, and at the night she was acting very silly. And I was like, "You're just sugar wasted. That is all. <laughs> you are sugar wasted." Ah. Clearly, mm. and I have Probably. been there before. Um, mm. But yeah, it was a fun weekend. Fun weekend. Nice. How about you? Well, I spent most of the, I mean, a good chunk of Saturday um, up in Carefree at this adorable little English Rose Tea Room because it was the it was the Queen's uh, Platinum Jubilee, which we talked about last week, and I was Elton mm -hmm. John, and with me were also Mary Poppins. Um, Harry Potter oh. and Sherlock Holmes were there, and I oh, believe those were on the best Sunday. English characters? I, yeah, as far as like being able to like impersonate and like cosplay, I don't know. Um, I believe on Sunday, I think the Spice Girls were there or something. I don't know. Um, I think David Bowie was there on Friday, and I think he was also there on Sunday. So, I mean, it was it was interesting. It was fun. The place is adorable. Like, I already decided that um, we're gonna I'm gonna take my partner. We're gonna get all spiffied up, and we're Are gonna, you gonna go we're there. Gonna go for gonna go for tea. Oh, lovely. They have the stuff, and it's like for twenty bucks, you can get like a, a tiered thing of like sandwiches and scones and little like petit fours and all sorts of fun things. So it's like it's it's kind of cool. So That's not twenty dollars a person. I don't believe so. That's not twenty dollars a person. Okay. I don't. There is such but a it's lag like it was pretty on cool my side. Cool. I don't know why. Why? Um, I don't know. That's weird. Um, I did look at it online. Um, cause I was like, Ooh, what is this place? Uh, partially because I was trying to find a flyer to post for you, but I couldn't, there's no flyer. <laughs> I couldn't find one. So 
it's really interesting yeah. because like I, I there were some questionable things because like I was supposed to like do a couple of performances. I was supposed to do like one like the first couple hours and then one in like the last couple hours I was there. And mm -hmm. that morning while I was getting ready, my point of contact texts me and says, All right, so you've got everything ready. Um, you know, you have all your music. And I'm like, Yeah, I'll just bring my music on a flash drive because that's what we do. And she's like, no, just have it on your phone. Mm -hmm. Immediately, warning bells off in my head. I'm like, uh, on my phone? You're like, like well, what? Connect to speaker. I'm like, connect. how are you going to connect me to a speaker exactly? Because I don't have like a headphone jack. I literally told her, I said, um, do you know what kind of speaker it is? Because I don't have a three millimeter headphone jack. She responds and says, does your phone not have a headphone jack? Okay, literally just said that. <laughs> so she says, email it to me and we'll make sure that we get it to somebody that can connect to the speaker. And I'm like, okay. So I emailed her my music. I get there and my point of contact isn't even there. She's not there. Like nobody, like it, the, the I was like, oh, okay. So I ended up connecting my, there was like a little Bluetooth speaker, which is what we were using. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was oh. super fun. And it was really hot. But I mean, it was it was cute for what it was. But I was like, okay, look, if you're gonna do this, first of all, you can't have people connecting to like Bluetooth, because it's a, it was a speaker like this big. And like, it just wasn't I, you ideal. Can't hear like, this, that. no, and it's like, it's not a good performance space. Like, it's just it was, it was, yeah. It was uh, it was interesting. Uh, Sunday ran some errands. Um, Monday I actually took London to the vet because he's been having some issues. Um, you know, we got a new couch about a month ago, and we've had to cover it with like waterproof blankets because that's basically he he just pees and poops all over it. And at first mm. I was like, okay, which is you know you he's you change things up. You change things up and I'm like, all right, you know, this happens, mm -hmm. no big deal. But then it keeps happening every day, all the time, constantly. So I'm like, all right, maybe there's something else going on. Like, cause he's, you know, you, you, he's a cat. Cats will tell you when they're pissed off. It's, you know, but it's usually like a, maybe a one, two time thing. And then that's it. And they get over it and move on. And I'm like, well, shit, you know, what if it's something more serious? So I made him a vet appointment. No, motherfucker is healthy as hell. In fact, the vet was like, wow, for a 15-year-old cat, he's like, his kidneys mm -hmm. are working perfectly. His liver is working perfectly. He's in great health. I'm like, this asshole. Oh, so, Jesus, right in front of you. Yeah, no, literally. Like, yeah. So, um, so he's now on gabapentin, which is fun because this asshole, like, I'm trying to mix it up in wet food. He sniffs the wet food and he's like, no, thank you. I've tried to give it to him in like whipped cream and basically, you know, oh. other things that he really likes. He's like, no, I'm good. So I've had to like mix it in with milk, put it in a syringe and basically shoot it down his face. That's always fun. Oh, wow. <laughs> asshole. Oh, uh, so hopefully. He's just being an asshole. The, right. So hopefully the meds work. Um, we're going to get him some feel away too, which is a, like a stress relief like diffuser thing so we'll be getting that and if that doesn't work then we're going to get him on some heavier drugs and we'll see if that works until everything goes back to normal and everything is not crazy here. interesting yeah interesting. but kind of made me feel a little bit good considering she was like i can't believe this cat is in such good health because i'm always afraid that like i'm going to take my animals to the vet and they're going to be like mm. <laughs> Huh. So, considering he's like five years past his expiration date, I'm not too mad about that. I'm just mad that he's being <laughs> dick. Speaking oh. of dicks, that leads me right into tonight's tip. <laughs> you like that? There you way? have it. <laughs> so, tonight's tip is actually uh, inspired by a conversation that I saw on the interwebs today, and. So I'm like, you know what? I feel like we need to have this this discussion. And so I'm going to talk. I guess we can. We we are going to talk. This is more of a discussion type thing. 
we're going to talk today uh -huh. about shaming, fat shaming, size shaming, slut shaming, all the things, because mm -hmm. it is fucking 2022. Why the hell are we still doing this? Like, why is this even still a thing? I, I don't it, uh, like I just I don't I because body image hasn't gone away from the media, the media. Um, right. I can answer that right away. Um, the Kim K's, the uh, what have you, the that whole complex of brand is just focused on what we say perfect shape, right. um, even more so. Even like when we perform, like if I if I don't look a certain way, like hourglass, because. Mm -hmm. um, we have this society thing where people are like, oh, well, you have to look this way. Right. Or men have to look a certain way. Right. So that's still a, a thing so, that we're, like, we're doing with each other. Like, size shaming. Like, listen, I, I don't know how many times I have to say this. Small dick jokes are inherently transphobic. They, they just are. And the last mm -hmm. time I said that, I had all sorts of folks, mostly folks that were assigned male at birth, jumping down my throat saying that, you know, whatever, I was born with a small dick and I don't care. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't care what you... I, don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. Uh -huh. If you are equating someone's personality or lack thereof to their penis size, then like... Uh, unless, because trans men, pretty much, unless you've had a phalloplasty, sizes, you're, you're not, like, we're, we're never going to be, like, have an average, like, cis size penis. That's not going to happen. So anytime that you say someone, <laughs> oh, they must have a small dick or whatever, like, it, it's fucking transphobic. I don't give a fuck. This is not up for debate. Not up for debate. Even though everybody seems to think it is. I don't care whether you are a trans woman. I don't care whether you identify as non-binary. I don't care whatever the fuck. You cannot... Eat, no. It's transphobic. Just stop it. Just fucking stop it. And a big dick doesn't isn't better. It's not like... It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you're a, a, you know, stronger, better, have more personality. Like, no. It just... It's, Stop. If that like, was just, the case. <laughs> like, Lord. Like, just, just fucking stop. Because it's... I don't know. It's fucking it's stupid. Like, st it, <sighs> person's personality is not tied to their penis size. You're not even I talking in sentences of, anymore. <laughs> I, I just... I just... It blows my mind, first of all, that, like... And, like, and now I have to worry about, like, saying things like that because the last time I did, literally, so many people in this community, in our community jump down my throat mm -hmm. because they wow. were like this is, no it's not you're just starting drama i'm like no no I'm not starting drama I'm fucking transphobic just there's whatever and it, of course everybody like, it's like, like when i think my feet was full of like tiny dick jokes every other person was like really so when i posted it people hmm. that posted a tiny dick, dick joke were like oh my god why don't you just message me and why are you just being a bully why don't you just i'm like obviously you have some issues because you seem to think that this is all about you but that's okay whatever <sighs> so stupid huh. so huh. stupid okay so also um... fat shaming just fucking let people wear what they want to wear you don't like it, don't fucking look at them. Don't like it, don't date them. Don't like it, don't fuck them. Like, it, just leave it be. <laughs> like, I, like it, someone doesn't it, it doesn't magically become attractive if they lose weight. Like, exactly. I, people can look different. People can act different. But I've seen people that have lost a fuck ton of weight, and I don't happen to think they're more attractive. Um, um, uh, uh, Rebel Wilson actually is one of those people. We watched, there's a movie mm. on Netflix, um, 
senior year or something like that that she's in after she just lost a bunch of weight. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Like, I actually thought she was more attractive before she lost the weight, but that's just me. I was like, oh, Jesus. Like, it just... It, it, and every time someone loses weight, whether it's, like, for personal reasons, whether it's for health reasons or whatever... All of a sudden, everybody's like, oh, my God, you look amazing. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, uh, I always ask, like, on, on something like that, like, I always say, you know, I'm like, you know, how do you feel about it? Because that's all that fucking matters. Like, that's, mm -hmm. but it, how do you feel after losing the weight? Because how I feel doesn't fucking matter. Do you feel good about losing the weight? Yeah. Great. That's all that fucking matters. It's like. Um, uh, and size is not, not I, really I, an indicator of health. Like there are, like you see, see videos of that, like um, these dancers who are by no means like skinny, and they are like dancing circles around people, and they're you know they're not that winded. They may be sweaty, but they're not that winded. I mean, while these skinny folks are like <laughs> and also you see people that are super skinny that doesn't mean they're healthy a lot of times they're kind of malnourished a lot of times they are anemic a lot of times they have other issues so don't conflate size with being healthy because that is it's it's a misconception totally a misconception but it's also it's also society that's how society and culture has um, yeah. that your health is um, marked as success because you're not um, what is it you, you're not overweight um, commercials always go after you know right. do you want to lose all the fat do you want to do this do you want to eat fat free do you want to do this it's you're being fed this constantly and i can tell you this because i'm in marketing but also um once upon a time there were doctors that, that were approving that cigarettes were healthy for you so and then people went out and did it and they you know it, it affected people's weight and size but they thought they were losing weight because of cigarettes well yeah you you are because it was curbing your appetite to create an addiction but um <laughs> Um, just craziness that goes on there. And I show that Freddie has froze for me. Unless he is still there. I don't think so. <laughs> oh. Justine says, I mean, I had such a hard time being told at five five and a hundred pounds when I was going into the uh, uh, military that I was overweight. Uh, yes, that's that's a thing. Yeah. Um, so he has frozen. Um, he gone. <laughs> well, see, um, I haven't Oh, just me. Um, there we go. Here he is. Hold on. I want to go on. Hello? What the hell Are you happened? there? I'm here. I don't know. You went from, you went from like green to red, and then it, you went off. That's bizarre. That was... No idea what happened. I have turned off the internet for most devices that I know are not being used right now. So I, I, um, I, I'm literally checking my connection and it's fine. So I don't know what the hell. It's bizarre. Anyway. Um, so yes, weight is a thing. Um, uh, what's the next one? So, and then uh, <laughs> slut shaming because this is still a thing. Don't know why the hell this is still a thing because like... Nice. That's still a thing. I don't know. Like we're we're like everything's all about you know sex positivity, blah blah blah, all this shit, and 
But we also have then, body positive campaigns going on too. Right. But... Right. And but like we're 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 gonna, you know, we spend all this money to watch porn, we spend all the money on OnlyFans, but we're still shaming people. We're still fucking shaming people, especially women for having like multiple sexual partners. Like we'll watch them get gangbanged or whatever, but then it's like, yeah, what a what a slut, whatever, blah, 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 blah. It's like just Fuck who the fuck you want. Just be safe and smart about it. <laughs> My like, biggest thing is that people complain that, you know, our community is so um, sex forward. Um, like it's not taboo at all. Um, and then you see the, you know, of course, always like cis white people. Uh, but saying like, oh my God, why would you? Uh, and you're like, but why are we hiding it? Like, why? It's well, it's like we're we're supposed to be very sex forward or whatever. But then as soon as you mention that you happen to be in like a poly relationship, they're like, oh, my God, why can't anybody just be monogamous? Why can't anybody just be faithful? Oh, I have never said that. So, Oh, um, I, I see that shit all the fucking time. People <laughs> always post. I always see posts on Facebook. Why can't anybody? Why is everybody in an open relationship? Why can't anybody just be like faithful to one person? Blah, 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 blah. It's like. It's like, I can totally be, like, faithful to two people or three people or however. It's my relationship. It's not like... <sighs> Who knows? But so many people have so many opinions, uh, including uh, shaming people who are sex workers. Um, and it's really interesting how... The same people that are shaming those people are like, oh my God, because you can see in the comments of other people you follow, like, oh my God, you look so sexy. Should I comment on mm -hmm. there? Like, this is, why are you sexualizing that person? Um, like, you know what I mean? Like, right. But also, I forgot to put this down, but I'm going to say it because I'm going to forget otherwise. Uh, there's a whole like ageism issue too, especially like in our community. And like it, it, I know I've like, I've joked about it, but it drives me absolutely fucking crazy when people are like, oh my God, I'm 25. I'm so fucking old. Really? <laughs> How no. the fuck is that supposed to make the rest of us feel? Like oh, you're you know, old yes. at 25? I, I do agree with this because we've been in a dressing room with uh, people. Um, right. What was that recently? And they didn't. They did not mean any harm, but but also be aware. Read the room. Um, if twenty five is your midlife crisis, and I am older than you, ooh, like ugh. I'm I'm gonna be forty three this year. Like I'm 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 officially like middle aged at this point. Like this is this is it. I'm like I'm middle aged. And for the people like, oh my God, I'm so over the hill. I'm 25. I'm like, so just fuck me. But now. we also do this thing in like, our culture where we don't celebrate older people. We don't, um, it almost feels, because I was thinking about this the other day. Um, once you hit a certain age, because <clears throat> um, I follow a couple of uh I don't want to call them, they're not motivational speakers, but entrepreneurs that are like, you should start a business at 50. And you should see the comments that are on there. But it's my point is that it's never too late to do anything. There was right. a woman that is 104 that just did a skydive to celebrate her birthday. And I'm sure the there, comments There are so many probably... stories about folks that are in their like 60s, 70s, and 80s who end up going back to college and getting you know, bachelors and masters and PhDs, like, uh, you know, no, like, just uh, fuck off with that. Like, I really, like, it's starting to really bug the fuck out of me because it's a constant thing, and it's like, you realize you that- the old gays on any social media? You need to find I don't think I- It's very- I Google that. I will the find old it. old gays. Um, it gives you a little bit of perspective, and they have so much- so much life and 
Um, that's what it feels like when people hear, like, when I say, like, oh, I'm almost 40, I have, like, two years before I'm 40. And then they go, oh, are you okay? I'm fine. I... <laughs> It's like, um, I yes? What is it? Is, what? Thank you. <laughs> like, oh my god, I don't... It's it's dying. really, it's terrible. Yeah. It's like, it's just, it, like, it, that shit's like, you know, I'm sorry that I'm not, you know, young and hip and part of the cool kids. It's like, fuck all y'all. Like, no. We're, no. Um, let's mm -hmm. see. Okay, STI shaming and the stigma with, with STIs. Still a fucking issue. Having an STI or having had an STI or being HIV positive does not make someone dirty. So stop saying you're fucking clean oh. if you're negative. Language fucking I'm matters. Saying that. Yeah, we're still saying that. We're still saying that. We're still saying we're clean. Oh. I'm like, no, you just happen to be negative on your STI testing. Um, on dating apps and things, you still see D and D free, which is drug and disease free. Like, ew, really, ew, fucking ew, 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 ew. Yeah. And you know that shit still adding to the stigma. And one thing that we need to remember, because language changes and evolves, is stop saying STD, which. STD is has is out of date. N nobody it, you shouldn't use it because STD is sexually transmitted disease. They're not necessarily diseases. They're infections. So that's why we say STI. It's disease versus mm -hmm. infection. Disease still adds to that stigma. So you need to start changing language and and being mindful of what you say and how you say it because it's that shit still adds to well, the fucking stigma like so all of these things come from like beginning of life we don't we don't tell our well i tell my children about they know um well we don't talk about sex we don't talk about how you should be proud of who you are and what your body looks like and and shape size whatever Whatever. eye color um, you're not all going to be blonde blue eyed um, we're not going to all have western uh, European features um, right what else uh, we're all not going to you know wake up in the morning and have flawless hair we all some of us got to comb through uh, some things um, uh huh that's what I do Yours is there. Uh -huh. uh <laughs> Stop hair shaming me. Um, I did. Um, but also these things, if we... If we... I don't want to say people don't parent their children, right? But if they are open with their children and, and the communication that they have, um, I also feel like some of these uh, shames... Um, come from insecurities with people's own bodies. Um, I feel like some of this um, slut shaming is because people are not comfortable with their own sexuality. Um, I'm still learning about, about <laughs> obviously on this show, but um, about myself, uh, about other people, about, you know, just different things. And so when you, I feel like when you do these, shame you close the door to learning more about what could be better for you or could be better for somebody around you also when you do these shamings i always say this you don't know who's watching you don't know who's reading that comment right you really don't and when you say i'm not fat shaming because i have a fat friend that really doesn't help the case i'm not racist because like, i have a my friend is black yeah, and so just be aware, uh, be more aware of what you're saying, especially in a public forum. Um, I know some things have come up where people are like, ooh, 2014, you said this. And right. you're like, damn. Because that shit, they'll dig that shit up, they'll find the fucking screenshots. Like, and like, I'm sure it, there's some stupid shit that I've said back in the day that 
I probably would. I read mean, them, we all say stupid shit, dumb. but the thing is, is that most of us learn and and grow and adapt, and like we're the the kids all of a sudden have started like calling each other and everything bitch, and I'm like, oh no, 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 <laughs> no, Mm-mm. no, and not like in the bitch. They're like, no, they're like, oh my god, you bitch, and I'm like, ah, ah, n- uh, no, we're not, no, absolutely not. We're not going to go around calling the dog a bitch, your brother a bitch, everybody a bitch. We're not calling everything in this house a bitch because then you're just going to go around and call everybody a bitch and we're not going to do that. So, no, that's not going to happen. And then, okay, so this next th- this next little bit, and I know we have we have some stuff, but this is actually what sparked this uh, tip today. And... So someone was uh, posting things um, for sale and there were some butt plugs in there and oh. they were, um, and you didn't share. They were, they were there. You, uh, they, the person who was posting them is friends with both of us. So if you, you but there was oh. like one of them happened to be, or a couple of them happened to be like a, you know, a couple of smaller uh, butt plugs. One of them, I think was a small silicone one. It was a little purple one. Like it wasn't, it wasn't huge. It was How maybe cute. only like a couple inches and not like super big around. Like it was a just a smaller butt plug. And someone was like, why is it so small? And somebody else is a you know, trainer for straight guys. And someone else, maybe it's, you know, it's cute, but it's inadequate and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, they'll say maybe it'll expand on contact. And I'm like, okay, look, no. And I actually said this. I was like, no, we're not going to do this. I jumped on and I was like, okay, so small butt plugs aren't trainers for straight guys, first of all. Uh, Gay men aren't the only people who enjoy anal play. And Mm -hmm. small butt plugs are perfect for someone that is maybe new to anal. They're just getting started. They need something, you know, just to kind of beginner, just to kind of have something there. Maybe the person enjoys anal or they enjoy the sensation of something there but they don't want something big so they have something small like this goes back like why is it immediately we have to jump to oh my god this is inadequate or oh my god it's a trainer for straight men blah 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 like we need we need to to get away from that mindset because this is you know people see that and maybe it was someone that was thinking about getting a small butt plug but now they're like, well, shit, you know, now I don't, you know, like it, it that kind of things. You don't know who the fuck is. Get you, you a butt like plug. You get your butt plug. Get like, your butt plug. Let you, me you know have, where you, you at. You don't know. You, you have no idea, you know, who is going to see it. And maybe you have a friend that was going to try something. And maybe it was someone who watches and they were like, oh, let me take advantage of this. And I'll get this small butt plug that might just be perfect for me to start and whatever. And now they're like, well, never mind, because now everybody just thinks that, you know, it's a trainer for straight guys or it's inadequate or whatever. It's like, look, being able to take a fucking fist sized toy doesn't make you like better than everybody else. Like people have different reasons but, for using also, different sized toys. But also like, not everybody can handle large things. Not right. everybody is satisfied and it doesn't... by large things i don't happen to prefer large insertable anything like average size is fine i would actually almost prefer slightly below average but most of the time that's harder to find but i'm like i like it doesn't make you you know an a plus gay because you can take a giant fucking cock in your ass like that doesn't it means absolutely nothing Absolutely nothing. But when we're talking like, about butt plugs, you don't need the whole thing. Mm, and Goodness butt plugs gracious. are just it, like <laughs> the plug is literally just designed for the sensation. Like you're not using like, and there were some like uh, actually this person actually has some stainless steel ones too that were good size. Like they were almost the size of the palm. Like they were hefty, oh. hefty, hefty steel ones. Um, but it's like just like just fucking stop. Like why is it when every something like. The first thing that comes out of anybody's mouth is something negative or that is like just ugh, so fucking annoying. <laughs> also, we learned about gaping holes at sex trivia. So if 
if you want to keep being whole, um, you you should learn more. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And not everybody wants a gaping hole with a huge, ill, ill. I mean, not ill, like ill as his overall, but ill for me. But if that's your thing. Yeah, like we say all the damn time, your kink is not my kink, but your kink is okay. If your kink is eating cereal out of a gaping asshole, you do you. I, however, will not be partaking. Just clean properly. Clean properly afterwards. For fuck's sake. Oh, my God. For fuck's sake, please rinse wash douche whatever the fuck you need to do to get stuff clean if you're gonna do things like that because you're just asking for a world of of uh, just uh. yeah you yeah 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 that's all we mm-hmm. ask mm-hmm. all righty on to a closer Onward? look at current events what have we got going on oh, oh. Department of Justice. <laughs> mm. This is fun. Um, oh, why do you always put these big would you like words? Me to, would here? you like? Me, you want me to? You want me to take this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah you go ahead because I'm already so, in problem uh, with S's. And <laughs> I got you. I got you. Uh, the DOJ has uh, filed seditious conspiracy charges against the Proud Boys for January sixth. So oh, that'll okay. be interesting to see what happens there. Just as a collective group, I believe. Uh, because I believe the leader was there and a few other folks, and they were kind of leading the charge. So this could be interesting. Um, it'd be good if they were like on a actual like federal list as like domestic terrorists. That would be fantastic. Probably won't happen, but you know, who knows? So when they possible, go on, when they go on trial, I would like it to be broadcast like the um, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. Mm, that would be good. It I would like that. Happen. It won't fucking happen. But because we need to protect their privacy or something. I don't know. Right. Um, right. Last weekend included at least nine mass shootings with four or more victims, two killed uh, and 12 wounded in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, a second mass shooting uh, in as, in as many weekends, three killed, 11 wounded in Philadelphia. In fact, uh, one of my friends lives in Philadelphia, and I was like, where are you at right now? <laughs> it was a little bit terrifying. Uh, but, you know, uh, we don't need gun control. No. We don't need it. We would rather, we no. we would rather ban really, really, really uh, dangerous things like drag shows uh, that for minors uh like san antonio is trying to do uh, they're trying to ban drag shows in front of minors because that is a priority never mind the mass shootings that continue to happen never mind the 18 year olds that can get their hands on ak-47s and kill a bunch of kids totally fine mm-hmm. no it's fine uh because what's really important is that you know drag queens um and if you think about it, drag queens, that could be, drag queens, drag queens, mm, things that could be affected are things like pride because there are drag shows of pride and there are kids at pride uh, drag story hour. That could be an issue as well. Um, it, I, I don't know if anybody realizes this, but drag shows have never resulted in kids dying. Um, but, you know, or it's a good place to start. Up with a gun. Right. Let's let's go ahead and ban drag instead of guns because that makes a lot of fucking sense. Fuck my life. Um, also, I found out that in is it Japan, they have like these, <laughs> like, methods of what you have to go through before you can get a gun, and it sounded fantastic to me. Like they have have to like pass a mental inspection uh see the s's are getting me today um (laughs) (laughs) but um and all of these things before they could even get a gun and even then so even certain guns are allowed for people to get and why you can't buy a fucking assault rifle ak-47 or whatever it is why do you need that why Oh my God! Not- some of the they were talking about the um, description of some of the victims um, and the the fourth graders. 
so an AK-47 has a 300 foot, I think it's a 300 foot, 300 meter, 300 feet of uh, range, I think, something like that. Uh, 300 foot range. Mm -hmm. um, so anything closer than that is going to cause severe damage. Severe damage. Like, if you're right, if you're shooting at something mm -hmm. that is like that close, it's going to go through them. It's going to go through the wall. It'll probably go through the, that wall behind it. Like it's, it is the, some of these kids apparently were completely unrecognizable. There is so mm -hmm. much damage done with this fucking gun, but we'll go ahead and work on drag first because that is what is important. Uh, Matthew McConaughey was at the white house. Um, was it this week, this week? this weekend um because he is from um how do you say it from that area um where the mass shooting happened for the for the children the u starts the u uh in texas um and Uval basically Uval told people get off your like yeah get off your ass and let's let's make gun control a priority um uh, stop chasing abortion stop chasing um birth control stop chasing the gays let's make this work um and then of course you i i need to really stay out of these comment sections that's what i i don't comment mm. but i read them and i get very upset because this is what we are facing um this is what other people believe is happening in our country they really think that this is um like Wait, how like a, how heartless like they think that we're taking rights you, away from them it, it's how heartless do you have to be to sit there and listen to parents of victims like describe the fact that like one of the one of the survivors like this little girl took her friend's blood and put it all over herself and played dead essentially and you know describe how what how kind of trauma these... is that oh right. my god and how some of these kids couldn't be id'd and how like you, how can you fucking listen to that and then just be like no we're not really gonna we're not worried about gun control it's fine we're fine there's everything's fine but on one hand like we're are you worried about fucking pro life serious? and pro choice and right all these things you're not fucking pro like it blows my fucking mind it absolutely blows my fucking mind that these are people that like they just don't give a fuck they don't they won't mm -hmm. they're not even willing to raise the legal age to purchase a gun to 21. They're not even willing to do that. Even though there no. literally were just two mass shootings both with AK um uh, AR15s uh that 18-year-olds bought like basically days after they turned 18. Totally fine. Totally and fine. they didn't go through a psych evaluation. Uh no, nothing. Nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck. Uh what did they say? I was not expecting to blame the drag artist angle. Mm -hmm. It's all yes, drag. We fault. are it's causing. Drag queen. You are watching this right now, and I am telling you not to buy a gun. So don't do that. Um, gay agenda, like what the hell? Uh, there is no such fucking thing. It's so upsetting. Yes. Um, I mean, I I do have an agenda. Like a... You should see my Google Calendar, but like. Oh my God! So booked up. So booked up. Uh, the fact that kids have to think about playing dead. Yes, um, and um, I, I fear being a child in this. Like we have a little one, so imagine I. Oof, watching that. That's devastating. De devastating. Um, why people don't think it's important, but they think uh, holding up women's rights and buying guns is a priority. Don't understand. Somebody explain to me. I, this oh, country is so fucking backwards, and I swear to God, if anybody tries to tell me that this is the best country in the world, I'm going to be like, are you fucking... I... No. This bullshit. Total fucking bullshit. So, yeah. Um, the Ohio legislator um is banning transgender girls from uh female only school sports because we're continuing on that train too so um i beg of you the midterms are coming up midterms are coming up i know that a lot of people and i probably will keep saying this until we vote um Midterm elections are just as important as the presidential election years. If not more um, so. 
Yes. Um, what I need you to do is keep an eye on the people that you support at a local level as well as national, but local level people, as I have said before, rise up through the ranks. You keep letting people that say gun control is okay. And then you say, oh, well, she's just running for city council. Okay, she's just running running for city council today, but then three years later, you're going to be like, well, now she's running for governor. Uh, how'd right. she get there? You let her get there. You could And I swear her. to God, if anybody tells so, me, oh, I don't vote, or I don't do politics, or whatever, I don't, do, do not, don't even, I, the, uh, just, it, that, that is the biggest bunch of horse shit ever, ever. At this point, if anybody literally says, oh, I, I don't I don't vote or I just I don't do politics. I, well, how privileged are you? Thank you so much, because apparently everything that's going on has zero effect on you. How nice that must be for you. Like mm -hmm. that is privilege at its finest. I don't and, and that 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 just speaks volumes at this point like to just and i i mm, like this that that shit makes me so mad oh also so fucking... uh make sure that you get your uh, mail ballot if you have registered for that make sure you get to the polls if you have registered for that there are different agencies and organizations like uber and lyft that did it um at the presidential i don't know if they're doing it for midterms but um, keep your eye out for that because sometimes people do van uh, carpools and sometimes people mm -hmm. do um, like where they're like, okay, well, I'll stand in line for you. You go to work and I'll still be here. You know, that kind of right. thing. Um, if you're in my area whole... and I'm free, like just uh, call me, I'll come get you. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't want to discourage anybody from from voting and I highly, highly, highly encourage you tell people that you think may be doubting that they need to vote in the midterm um, because that is something that when you get to the presidential election, it really makes a difference because then you'll be like, oh, so I see that the person I'm supporting supporting the person that I'm voting for. It just, it, politics is politics. Right. I can't stop the way it functions, but you can absolutely control it a little bit if you vote 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 <sighs> speaking <sighs> of voting in covid news there's companies are a lot of companies are actually going to go back to masks because numbers are spiking again um in but fact i uh, want okay, to go don't... back to work at a brick and mortar um, i'm sorry uh um yeah and I'm, in fact, I know several people that have now picked up this new strain um, and are, are sick again. But man, like I said, I keep thinking I, if I hadn't been vaccinated and boosted, I would have ended up in the hospital 100% with as sick as I was. 100% would have been in the hospital. Um, mm -hmm. Like we still wear masks when we go to the store, when we go out and about, when we like, we still wear our masks all the fucking time unless we are outside and well distanced from people like i'm not willing to to put shit at risk still like it's not over y'all like it uh... mm -hmm. and there's a there's actually uh, a the new, new vaccine, vaccine. That's actually yep it's coming out oh, you go ahead all right um, it's coming out in the fall. Um, it's supposed to be uh, even more effective. And this could actually be uh, the road towards an annual vaccine, like the flu shot. Um, that's what they're anticipating with this new one that is coming out. So keep Yes, that. and as we talk about COVID, it's not ending. Uh, but be cautious and aware of the monkeypox. Now the media has gotten a hold of that and... Um, Instead of making you more aware and how to prevent it, they scare the shit out of you and say things like, you can get it next. Um, yes, I did hear that on the news. Um, <laughs> don't call me. <laughs> don't call me either. Really. Because then I think I, something is wrong. 
<laughs> right. I'm assuming if you're calling me that you're probably dead. So just saying. Scary. Um, yes. Um, still not going out. That's, that's fine and dandy. Um, but um, yeah, people wearing masks and careful who you touch. So, so, sounds like what monkeypox is mostly. Um, mm. Careful you know who you're hanging out with and, and loving on. Oh. They always say well, that goes, but that goes uh, along with every right. like. That's just general sexual health. Like, but with, that's why I say play safe and play smart. Like, ugh. yes. So if you tell me you got monkeypox, I'm gonna be like, oh. Oh, okay, okay. Don't, I mean, love ya, but keep it to yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so in case anybody was wondering, I actually got our uh, COVID numbers here in Arizona. Um, so just to kind of remind everybody where we were, where we were at a couple years ago. So um, April 4th of 2020, we had 2,000 cases and 50 deaths. Uh, June 21st of 2020 is when we passed uh, 50,000 cases. That's just about almost exactly two years ago. Almost exactly two years ago right now um, was when we hit uh, 50,000 cases. My goodness. We are currently at 2.06 million cases with over 30,000 deaths. That's in two years. We went from 50,000 to over 2 million now, like, and, and over 30,000 deaths because people keep doing dumb shit. Like, <sighs> well, I don't necessarily and, think it's because people are doing dumb shit, but um, I do know that uh, people that know that they don't feel well. Um, are creating unsafe environments for other people. Yes. Um, so there we are way, well. we are way past. I know that um, in some instances that um, in underserved communities, they're not able to take off from work. But I think there needs to be a way. Um, you know how the government likes to be in business and in our vaginas haven't figured out mm. a way to help um serve the underserved communities um well, that's or because they don't matter communities um they matter. they're like and, poor and like and like black and who cares <laughs> so um if, if you don't feel well i encourage you to go home but if you are not in a position um to um oh let's talk about it um but also be aware if you don't feel well don't don't be don't be exposing people even if it's i don't know like a light cough i don't, just feel like you should not be going places and doing things and coughing on people and, um <laughs> just Seen, um people are still not washing their hands after they use the, after using the restroom um we uh did not learn anything and i um experienced this myself uh, <clears throat> excuse me especially if um other gentlemen are in the uh restroom and i said oh you going to wash your hands you going to wash your hands cuz that's gross cuz Especially at the workplace, because oh, you share. Actually, I have a question, sort of related, but not really related. But it's a genuine question uh-huh. because I, I, I've always wondered this: How can men stand at a urinal and not hold it? I saw a dude stand at a urinal and he was on his phone with both hands. I'm like, that's just asking for trouble. <laughs> like, um, I don't, I, I don't have that privilege, um, so I don't know, but. Um, I know people that do and some people that are 
Not that size matters, but some people are endowed. But, but even well if size, like even and... even so, like if the way things hang, like. You're gonna make a fucking mess. Like I don't, I don't. Not for everyone. Yeah, I just, not I feel everyone. like that's just asking for just fucking sprinkler situation. Like I just, I don't under, like. Why wouldn't you just fucking hold it and aim like normal person? Like I don't know. I think it's stupid. I'm just like what the hell. <sighs> um, we can shame um, upcoming... people that don't wash their hands, though. We can't oh, shame fuck people yes. that don't wash their hands because. Like, oh, so you're not washing your hands? Cool. Cool. Yeah. Or she could put a like a sticker on the like on their shirt that says, I didn't wash my hands. Well, I can't do that in the workplace. That's called harassment. (laughs) Um (laughs) um, on the twelfth, I will be at the um the Pride pageant. How do you say that? Do you say like MX? Mix. Mix, I think. Mix, mix. Mm. Mm. Um, Freddie has his thoughts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not about the pageant itself. No. Uh, um, I will be there. Um, for that, and uh, starts at six. Six sounds right. Um, I thought I it started at three. At... No, that's the pride like awards and other stuff that goes from 3 to 4.30 or something like that. Oh, Trey said it started at 3. Like, the pageant started at 3. Not from what I... I mean, we got the same email, so... Uh, Maybe maybe he didn't read. (laughs) Um, I mean, I can't promise that all of us know how to read, but um, (laughs) maybe I didn't read it right. Maybe I... (laughs) You know, maybe I'm going to be late. Um, but I'll check. Three and hours late. I'm you show seven... three hours late to the time. Huh? <laughs> uh, it actually starts at three. You, like, you show up at six. Fuck were you? Uh, you know what? That's par for the course. That's uh, what people are doing in our in our community right now. We just show up whenever the fuck we feel like it. Shut up. Not me. Um, June 17th, uh, we have Cat Bingo. And then as we had, you can show up for um, sex trivia, learn about gaping holes and other things. All sorts of things. Um, For sex trivia at Gracie's Tax Bar. Um, And then on June 23rd and 24th, um, I will be a part of the Let's Get Better Together conference. Um, Oh, Teddy Michael is presenting uh, at the trend. Oh, is presenting no, Teddy Michael. Ally work- yes, because I'll be out of Since town. Freddie so Teddy to Michael, um, us both. Teddy Michael, Teddy Michael will be uh, presenting <laughs> at the Let's Get Better uh, Together conference. Um, he's doing. I think we're doing our, or he's doing our um, from allies to accomplices, leaping into action. Um, so uh, if you're able to uh, check that out, check it out. It's a great presentation because. Just Register saying. today. Let's get better. <laughs> Conference AZ, I think. Something like that. Don't quote me on it. I'll post it later. Um, um, and, and the reason I won't be there is because on... I will be in Washington. Um, because on June 25th, I will be Washington. uh performing um in Washington at Lewis County Pride, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, although I'm a glutton for punishment and I just made a new mix and it's a fun mix, but it's kind of a dancey mix. And I'm like, Oh, I got to remember to put my inserts in my shoes. (laughs) (laughs) Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, June 26th, I will be in magic at Stacy's at Melrose. And then Freddie flies away again. Mm, I'm driving. Oh, you fly away because you just leave us here. <laughs> so I'm going to Albuquerque uh, to July second. Um, and, and they always I like being in Albuquerque. Like everybody there, I I don't necessarily like Albuquerque itself, but I like everybody that is there because Albuquerque is kind of a shithole. But the folks that live there are pretty cool. Um. And then again, I'm just going to keep reminding y'all um, that July 16th, which is a Saturday, 
Um, I'm in Lady on the Rocks at the Rock. It's my birthday weekend. So make sure it's in your calendars so that you can reserve a table. I really can't make up. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Reserve your tables because I won't be there. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm Mm-hmm. 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 Whatever you say. Oh, I really need to work on guests. Um, so much so that we have are almost done with the season, and I just it's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm only on episode nineteen, though. When are um, we ending the season? I'm not, I'm not rushing things. I'm just chilling. um the um you probably won't be able to reserve a table until um it gets a little bit closer. And I think I did put New Mexico on the calendar. About what? No, oh, maybe I didn't. Oh, I thought I you're did. being partner shamed. Being I know. Stop shaming me. Shamed. <laughs> I swear I put it on the calendar. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I got to make sure some of the dates are on our calendar, too. Um, Because, you know, don't forget to hydrate this weekend with the heat advisory and sunblock. Yes, yes, yes. Water, water, water. If you like, go for Gatorade, but water. Um, Soda is not a hydrant or hydration fluid. Do Mm. Do not tell me you drink soda and think that you're gonna get oh yeah that that's the, not gonna that's not gonna work. Yeah. Have your soda, but throw water in there. You know, like when you go to the club and you think you can drink water in between your drinks? Do it like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it like that. We are not advocating Uh, for excessive drinking. I'm not. I'm advocating for hydration. I Mm. want people to do the stupid thing to do the right thing. See how that works there? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) No words at all. Thank you to all of you who watch on the replay, who watch live, who donate stars listen to the podcast Mm -hmm. do all all the things things. Uh, thank you for joining our Wednesday night conversation we will see you next week for your Wednesday night conversation good night oh my god that was a lot to say oh my god (laughs) (laughs) is it Promotional consideration for Let's Have a Peepee provided by Wigs of a Kind, The Burly Barber, Bone and Basil, as well as our patrons at Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash let's have a peepee to become a peepee patron. Virtual tips accepted at paypal.me slash let's have a peepee. Subscribe to the Let's Have a Peepee podcast. You can listen on your favorite podcatcher. See you next week for your Wednesday night conversation. This has been Let's Have a Fifi. Good night. Don't forget to.